Hey, forgive my grumpiness, but this is the third time I've cast this. I actually casted four of the games uh, and then noticed that the recording software had bugged out. Then I recast one of the games and the recording software bugged out again. And now I'm trying again, so I hope it doesn't bug out. Anyway, uh, salient points about this game. First, when somebody is worker harassing you, and before somebody is working worker harassing you, hotkey two workers to two separate hotkeys, stare at your front. When the worker comes to harass you, grab one of your hotkey dudes and attack over here to defend. Because what you had to do was go over here, look, grab a dude, go over here and attack him. And in that amount of time, this dude died. Uh, so if you have him hotkeyed, it, it won't, you know, you won't lose that worker. And the reason you hotkey two is if he harasses with two workers, you know, you saved your butt. And also if he attacks with one worker and it takes you a while to notice and you're already low health, then you can get away and send both workers up and have one continue building while the other one chases the probe around. Uh, another thing, I noticed that you select this Rax instead of selecting the, the, the SCV. In order to select the SCV building the Rax, just go like this and grab everything. And then hit T. T stops him from building and you can send him away. Uh, second most important thing, you screwed up the build. I saw a different game in which you did the build perfectly. So obviously you screwed it up in this game because of the worker harass. So I'm, I'm not going to fault you too much for it. But in general, you're going to want to only send me replays where you did what you wanted to do. If you failed to do what you wanted to do, then you already know why you lost it. You don't need, you don't need any advice. Um... So at six minutes, you have 825, you should have 1050, and so that's, you know, the, a problem. Uh, when you, you scouted with one marine, saw that he had a pylon on the low ground but no nexus, then you see this warp prism. Now you know what's coming, right? Warp prism DT drop, or warp prism 48 all in. Either way, all you need is a raven and an army standing in your main waiting for him to do it. Uh, in this case, you didn't interpret what he, what you saw properly. You uh, go home with your army. He shows up with the DTs, and your reaction to DTs should be to immediately swap this dude onto the tech lab and start a raven, and send one guy over here to make an engineering bay and one guy over here to make an engineering bay, and then take all of your workers and all of your army and go kill him. You do that second part. You take all your workers, all your army. You go kill him. You successfully kill him, but you shouldn't have succeeded because you only get two scans to kill six DTs. And it works because he's an idiot, but two scans should never be able to kill six DTs. So he should have won this game, uh, but he doesn't. So anyway, uh, with two engineering bays, you cancel one before it finishes so that you only end up with one engineering bay. The reason you do two is if he sees one of them and, and starts attacking it, then you still have the other one. Uh, your t turret priority, build a turret in his main. That's the priority. Get a turret up in his own main, and then his main is dead. Because you have a bigger army than him by virtue of the fact that he made DTs. Making DTs costs a lot of money, and they don't fight very well once you can see them. So uh, then you can just start mining from his main. <laughs> anyway, uh, good job.